going to be showing you guys how to make yet another quick vegan dinner and this is going to be a slow cooker taco soup and alongside of the taco soup because I mean why just soup when you can also have potato and cheese taquitos. Also if you guys make any of my recipes please feel free to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see what you made. So yeah, let's get veggie. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and toss everything into the crock pot. You might hear some boiling in the background and that is just another recipe I'm working on at the moment. But the first thing you're going to add into your crock pot, or it doesn't really matter if that's the first thing, but you're going to go ahead and toss in a whole box of uh, vegetable stock. I need to puncture a hole into this because it's like going too slow. But this is a 32 ounce um, vegetable stock box. The full link to the recipe will be down below where you can print it out, read it, and do all that good stuff. This recipe here is more like of a clean your pantry out kind of thing for me because I kind of just like toss in everything I have in there when I kind of want to like replenish everything in there. So um, I'm also going to be adding one can of black beans. These have already been uh, washed and drained. I just toss them back into the can. I'm also adding some great northern beans. Northern beans. You can do pinto beans, red beans, kidney beans, whatever really. I'm also adding one can of corn, um, two cans of diced tomatoes. On hand I had a can of fire roasted tomatoes and a can of basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes doesn't really matter it'll taste good either way and then I'm also going to be adding a can of diced tomatoes um, and this has this is the green chili um, what's it called like the Rotel style of thing where it has like green chilies like a little spicy I'm also adding two cans two of these was it eight ounce eight ounce uh, cans of tomato sauce so I'm tossing that in there and I'm also going to be tossing in one envelope, one of those little envelopes of uh, taco seasoning. You can make your own taco seasoning if you like, or you can just season it however you like. I'm doing um, one medium onion chopped up and one green bell pepper chopped up. I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of cornstarch just to sort of like thicken things up a little. And two cups of, I'm using Gardein's beefless, beefless grounds. Um, I'm about two cups, roughly two cups. Uh, I'm just eyeballing it, but on the recipe I put two cups because that's like approximately two cups. And just for giggles, I'm throwing in a vegetable uh, soup mix. And this is just like whatever. You could do like a, a vegan ranch thing if you find it because that's what I used to put in to this recipe before I went vegan um, or you could just do like an onion soup mix um, or you could just add a little extra seasoning or however you like but uh, I'm also going to be tossing in um, some nutritional yeast and I'm like eyeballing this but I would say like three tablespoons of that and then you're going to mix that up all around now you're going to put this on high for about four hours give or take because pretty much everything in here is cooked so it doesn't have to be like that long if you don't have enough time much time you could also leave it on for longer if you um, like if you're out or something you just don't want to keep it on for too long because it is on high um, but if you are going to be out for a long time you could also put it on low for like eight hours or so or even less it doesn't really like I said, you don't have to be too specific because this is all, you can eat this as is, even though I wouldn't recommend it. And next I'm going to show you guys how to make the taquitos in the meantime. So for the potato taquitos, all you're going to need is some mashed potatoes. And in my case, I'm just using some like leftover mashed potatoes from lunch. And th these potatoes are just regular instant mashed potatoes, which are mixed with um, some... Uh, salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and some nutritional yeast. So I just scooped on some mashed potatoes into a already softened uh, corn tortilla. And then what I'm going to be doing is adding in some cheese, some vegan cheese of course, whatever vegan cheese of your choice. I say the magic word cheese and Mia comes along. Here you go. So I'm using pepper jack, but you can use 
any one that you prefer. Next I'm going to go ahead and just put a little dollop of mashed potatoes there and that's going to serve like as a sealer or a sealant and we're just going to roll these up into little taquitos and there we go and there you have it and then you're going to go ahead and deep fry these. You can also bake these. It's, it's your choice. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and put these into the oil carefully so they won't open up and because you don't want to splash yourself either. And you're going to let these fry. You, can, you don't have to deep fry these. You can make these on the pan as long as they're filled halfway with oil. And then you can gonna, you're going to fry these until like the outside becomes just slightly toasty. So these are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and put these on a paper towel lined plate and sprinkle a little cheese over top while it's still hot. So it's been three and a half hours, give or take three and a half hours, and this soup is done. This stuff smells amazing, and the reason that I stopped cooking it already is because the kids are smelling it and saying they're hungry and it smells good and they want some. So this right here is ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and serve this up. We're simply going to place this into with this just a pretty little serving bowl. And whatever you place on top of this is completely optional. I'm just tossing on a couple pieces of chopped jalapenos and also a sprinkle of uh, vegan cheese. And then you can go ahead and place your little taquitos on the side and you're ready to serve. It's time for the taste test, Cam. All right, guys, so we have our little taquitos here and these have like a little spoon scoop side to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some in. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You guys, it's so good. Make it. Let me know what you think. It is so good and so easy to make. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food could be. Also, click on one of these videos to continue watching if you like. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.